you have an enviable problem, a very low unemployment rate, but you have uh, a lot of jobs that are going begging in part because you don't have the high-skilled labor pool that some of those jobs require. How are you going to fix it? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, workforce, like you said, it's, it's what every single business is concerned about. We've got really great quality of life here. Uh, we've got great work ethic. Uh, lining the jobs of the future with our universities is something we talk about all the time. Uh, but also our career techs. And we're actually number one in the country right now in bringing an aviation curriculum into the high schools. Uh, so looking at those A&P mechanics, HVAC, also the technical degrees that we have at our universities. So kind of bringing them together with the workforce and the companies and, and actually filling that is what we're always focused on. How does it work when you partner with your colleague, Governor Hutchison, across the way in uh, Arkansas? Is it a, is this a, how's that, how's that going to work? And is this initiative focused on your great universities, University of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, where you went, um, Arkansas, which, of course, has uh, a developing area there in northwest Arkansas. Yeah, you know, uh, Governor Hutchinson and I, we signed an MOU uh, with Governor of uh, John Bell Edwards in Louisiana as well on a hydrogen hub. And then just recently, we signed an MOU for a advanced mobility. Oklahoma is already number one in the country in drone readiness. I think Arkansas is number two or three. So together, we're developing this corridor between our two states where we're inviting all the tech companies uh, to study what does drone looks like, what do unmanned vehicles look like. Our universities are focused on that. The only place you can get a PhD right now at Oklahoma State University uh, is uh, in unmanned aircraft is at Oklahoma State. So by creating that corridor between our two states, we're letting everybody know that this is the future and we want them located uh, here in, uh, in, in Oklahoma and Arkansas. Governor, I recently went to Wisconsin to report on the shortage of housing and how that's affecting manufacturing towns like Sheboygan from uh, allowing more residents in. They may have a job, but if they can't find a house, why would they move there? I'm similar. I'm, I'm curious if you're seeing something similar in your state of Oklahoma. I know prior to becoming governor, you did run a mortgage services provider. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, First off, the barriers to entry in Oklahoma, the regulation is so much lower than other states. So we've got great home builders that are going to meet the needs of our citizens. Uh, we're going to remove any, 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 any issues or problems and let them go create that, uh, uh, you know, build those homes, those apartments to make sure we meet that workforce. We have the lowest unemployment right now in our state history. Uh, we don't think housing is going to be an impediment for uh, for our for our workers. These are high. T th th this initiative uh, to be a transportation high tech hub is going to require a lot of STEM related degrees and credentials. According to the state chamber of commerce, uh, the state ranks 45th in the country in terms of people who hold a bachelor's degree, uh, and they only account for 26 percent of the workforce. STEM related degrees, uh, Oklahoma ranks 50th. That's quite a hurdle you've got to surmount here, so that that the companies that come can find the workers they need. Yeah, you know, uh, Boeing has uh, 3,500 engineering folks there in Oklahoma City all around Tinker. Tinker is the largest maintenance and repair facility in the country. Uh, but yes, they're, they're hiring engineers. We need to produce more engineers in our universities. I meet with university presidents, OU, OSU, uh, TU, to continue to mm -hmm. talk to them about a bigger vision. Let's go ahead and focus and let's set a bigger goal to recruit these kids from, from out of state uh, to train more engineers. There's no doubt about it. We need that across the board. Uh, but also, um, you know, we're recruiting those from out of state. People are wanting to move to our state. We're number 11 in the country right now in migration mm -hmm. uh, to the state of Oklahoma. They love our pro-business, pro-freedom uh, policies. And uh, that's, why that's why our unemployment is so low is because companies are coming here, and we know that the jobs are, that, that the, uh, the, the, the folks will follow them.